you get to see everything here. Anime, comics, movies, TV, so it doesn't matter. Everybody here is a fan. Well, Fan Expo Canada is one of the biggest pop culture events in North America. It's taking place this weekend in Toronto, and thousands of comic book fans have converged on the city's downtown convention centre. In fact, that is where Stephanie Skanderis is today. She has this report on some of the fans and their costumes. Michael, things are just getting underway here at Fan Expo. Lots of people coming in, still a huge lineup outside. We know that celebrities are here and all of that, but you know, I think one of the best things, or maybe the best thing, is the cosplay. And there are so many incredible outfits here today. And you know, with me right now, I have found Velma and Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Can you guys say hi and tell us your names? Hi, how are you? I'm Ivy Doom Kitty. And hi, I'm Kit Quinn. Awesome. Um, I want to talk to you, Ivy, because I know that you've been looking at, at cosplay and some of the bigger things around it. So first of all, let's talk about how you got into cosplay and why. Uh, completely by accident, like everyone else is a hobby. Uh, I love all sorts of different characters from my childhood and saw cosplay and love the idea of being able to dress up as my favorite characters from comics, video games and things like that. Now you have a panel happening today, right? It's called So They Say You Shouldn't Cosplay. Tell me about that title and, and what this panel's about. So that panel discusses all the different things that people say why you should not cosplay. You shouldn't cosplay because of your age, your skin color, your body type or shape, uh, if you have a disability or not, and you know elitism in the community, all sorts of different things and how you should cosplay for all of those reasons. You know, and so we kind of dissect every single thing and hopefully by the end of the panel, you're encouraged and motivated to start cosplaying. Uh, because I feel that cosplay absolutely gives you confidence that you never knew you had within you and can really just bring out that personality within you. Do you think that conversation is changing or what needs to happen to make a change? I, I definitely think it's something that uh, the community is actively talking about now. Uh, diversification within the community and it wasn't something that was discussed when I first started cosplaying. There was no one that I could look up to that I felt I could identify with and now over the years we're seeing so many different uh, walks of life representing cosplay, so many different skin tones and ages and, and just covering all demographics. Uh, so the community is definitely moving in a very forward and progressive way to where we're definitely seeing that people are listening and doing something about it. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank We're you. sending it back to you.